Hello, Phil Morris here, the Time and Time Photographer, with uh, the final, uh, at least I hope it's the final, uh, uh, section on this video blog about uh, face retouching. And uh, today we're going to go over some uh, nifty things we can do with the hair. And uh, there's a, a lot of times when you get these stray hairs that are all over the place or you get these light sections where the hair doesn't quite fill out properly. And what we can do is we can do a, a nice little trick here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to get the lasso selection. And I'm just going to select like this area of the hair right here. Now, uh, since we're doing uh, copies through the various uh, layers here, I want to do a Command Shift C and paste it. And now, if we get our Move tool, you'll notice that we've got a chunk of hair right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right about here. And what I want to do is I want to fill in some of that space there. I'm going to do a Command T or Control T on the PC. And I'm going to rotate it around so it kind of matches the basics of what the hair looked like right there. Paste it down. Now uh, we need to make a, uh, a layer mask and we're going to paint with black. Now we don't need a brush this big. We need a smaller brush. And we just paint around the edges here with a soft brush and then we fill in that hole. So that's before and that's after. We can clean that up a little bit there. And uh, let's do an, uh, another section, uh, this uh, section on the side here. We get our lasso selection, or any selection will really do. And I'm going to pull from down here and we'll make a selection. It doesn't have to be neat. Uh, Command Shift C. We'll go ahead and do a new layer. Paste it. We'll move it up here. And Command T to transform. And in this case, let's move this down. We can uh, put that right about there and I'm going to go on the warp tool and I'm going to warp it a little bit there we go once again we make a layer mask and with black on the layer mask we'll go around and we will clean up all these edges bring back smooth it right on end So we have our before, where we've got this hole here, and after we add a little extra body into her hair. And of course you can go around and, and do this on all the uh, various holes and pieces. Now, uh, the last thing I want to do is I want to uh, take these highlights and I want to amp them up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of absolutely everything which is Command Option Shift E. Makes a new layer, that's everything. Of course on the PC it's uh, Control Alt Shift E. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at some of these blend modes and I, I want to look at these highlights right here. Um, and I was looking at overlay and we've got a nice gold color. Um, soft light um, is within that realm. but uh, if I take a look at screen, that gives us a, a good bright highlight, but Color Dodge gives us a highlight that's got a, a much richer tone to it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer mask, but I'm going to hold down my Alt or Option key so that it fills it with black. And I want uh, white to be my primary color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a larger brush and I want to paint on my layer mask with white. 
and I can uh, bring up a lot of these highlights. And since we did everything uh, on the page, uh, on the image, uh, we're, we're picking up all of our edits, everything all the way through. And I'm just scrolling around, picking, and there we go. Now if I hold down my Alter Option key and click, you can see the uh, the mask that I've created. And we don't necessarily need it to be quite that bright, so all we have to do is just bring down the opacity a little bit. And there's before, it's a little flat, after, and we've got a little pop to it. And that is the basics of what I do that uh, your various models will have. Well, that's the uh, last uh, installment of this uh, face retouching uh, segment. And once again, my name is Phil Mars, the Diamond Time Photographer. Thank you for watching and listening.